the date he wrote this preface, which was 1555, until the year 3797. He couldn't see beyond that, but it doesn't mean that that's the end of the world. James Nostradamus predicted Queen Elizabeth would die in 2022. Nostradamus has predicted that there will be a new pope in 2024. It is not strange to find people who claim to be able to foresee the future. One such famous person was the French doctor Nostradamus. Born in saint rémy de provence France, and renowned for his prophetic writings, Nostradamus made some grim predictions for 2024. Historians agree that his experiences during the outbreaks of mysterious diseases in Europe in the 1600s influenced his pursuit of mysticism. Some suggest he turned to astrology for answers, while others think it was a deliberate ploy to couch self-image and prestige. Without jumping into this endless debate, what exactly did Nostradamus predict for our current year? Will they happen? Here we go. Early life. Nostradamus's family were originally Jewish, but they converted to Catholicism to escape persecution during the Inquisition. His father was a grain merchant, perhaps foreshadowing his interest in famine. Nostradamus displayed exceptional intelligence from a young age. He received early education from his grandfather, Jean de Saint-Rémy, who recognized his potential. Nostradamus also received a unique education in his youth. He mastered the foundational languages of Latin, Greek, and Hebrew, alongside mathematics. This laid the groundwork for his future intellectual pursuits. More importantly, his grandfather taught him astrology and Jewish myth. Though widely debunked today, astrology was very popular in Renaissance Europe. It argued that the movements of bodies in the sky influenced events that happen on Earth. However, we can't discuss the early life of Nostradamus without revealing the foundations of his passion for prophecy. Are you ready to find out? Frustrated by the lack of scientific explanation for the plagues that befell Europe, Nostradamus quickly fell back to astronomy to understand the future through the stars. Nostradamus wanted to be able to foresee whether more plagues awaited the world. His Jewish traditions also played a key role in shaping his worldview. The Jewish background of his family exposed him to rich symbolism and prophecies found in the Hebrew Bible. Nostradamus's formal education was cut short by the bubonic plague, a devastating pandemic that ravaged Europe in the mid-16th century. This event undoubtedly shaped him in many ways. Witnessing the horrors of the plague firsthand may have planted a sense of impending doom and a desire to understand the forces that govern human fate. When the plague struck the Roman Empire in the 6th century, it went on to kill 25 million people. Eventually, the plague wiped out 60% of Europe. Nostradamus's adopted surname, Nostradamus, is a Latinized version of his original name, Michel de Nostradam. Some have argued that the bubonic plague he encountered was likely the second wave of the Black Death, a pandemic that wiped out nearly a third of Europe's population in the 14th century. Nostradamus also traveled as a traditional maker of herbal remedies. This must have exposed him to various medicinal plants and their properties. This knowledge likely aided him in his future medical career. Sit tight, as we want to reveal a bitter motivation for his prophetic career. When the plague devastated France, he became famous for braving the ravaged villages that other doctors left for dead. In 1531, Nostradamus joined Julius Caesar Scaliger, a prominent scholar in Agen, southwestern France. He found personal happiness there, got married, and welcomed two children. However, tragedy struck in 1534. While Nostradamus was away on a medical mission to Italy, likely battling the plague, his wife and children succumbed to the very same disease. This devastating loss not only caused personal grief, but also tarnished his reputation in the community and strained his relationship with Scaliger. Saddened by the loss of his wife, Nostradamus became relentless in efforts against the plague, but this time he is determined to find solution not in medicine, but astronomical signs. But how would he go about it? Here's where the debate begins. One theory suggests that witnessing the plague's horrors firsthand, the fear of death, and the helplessness of medicine at the time triggered a shift in Nostradamus's thinking. Perhaps he turned to mysticism and astrology, seeking answers from beyond the physical realm. Another viewpoint proposes that Nostradamus faced personal and professional setbacks, therefore he intentionally cultivated an image of a seer. 
His cryptic pronouncements could have been a way to regain lost prestige. Regardless of the reason, Nostradamus's encounters with the plague undeniably mark a turning point in his life. After this period, he began to write his quatrains, prophetic verses that would captivate the world for centuries. The true nature of his knowledge, whether a genuine premonition of the future or a cunning strategy to be famous, remains a subject of fascination and debate. What exactly is the nature of his prophecies? Prophecies Nostradamus prophecies are collected in the book Les Prophéties or The Prophecies. Some people also believe that he started to make prophetic predictions at 14. Whether Nostradamus's prophetic pronouncements at 14 were genuine premonitions or youthful pronouncements also remains a topic of debate. Some believe his pronouncements were falsified later in life to build a reputation. Most of them are cryptic and open to interpretation, leading to endless debate about their accuracy. Nostradamus's predictions often centered on broad issues like natural disasters and wars, occurring repeatedly throughout history. This vagueness means that it is easy to find coincidences between his verses and real-world events. Nostradamus's fame grew during his lifetime, fueled by supposed predictions like the death of King Henry II of France in a jousting accident. While Nostradamus began his career as a physician, he quickly gained notoriety as a prophet. His prophecies uses symbolism and obscure language, making them difficult to decipher. Nostradamus initially included prophetic verses in his annual almanacs before compiling them into a more extensive work, Les Prophecies. During the era of Nostradamus, Europe was ravaged by plagues, and people sought solutions in astrology and medicine. In no time, Nostradamus gained recognition as a plague doctor, treating the sick with herbal remedies that sometimes seem to alleviate symptoms. But do you know why Nostradamus always dresses how he is usually depicted? Here it is. Plague doctors often wore protective clothing, a practice that might have inspired the iconic long-beaked masks they're sometimes depicted wearing. Like many other facets of his life, Nostradamus's academic journey remains a topic of debate. He attempted to earn his medical doctorate at the University of Montpellier in 1522. Some accounts suggest he clashed with professors over his astrological interests, which conflicted with prevailing medical views. There are also reports that the university discovered his past work as an apothecary, a profession considered inferior then, and used it as grounds for expulsion. However, other sources claim he ultimately received his medical license in 1525. Following this period, historical records show Nostradamus traveling across France and Italy to treat plague victims. These experiences likely influenced his writings and philosophies later in life. Whether Nostradamus's predictions hold any merit remains a mystery. His work offers a glimpse into the human desire to understand the future, even if the path to understanding remains unclear. What other prophecies did he make for 2024? The next one is even more baffling. Nostradamea prophesied of a devastating famine triggered by a pestilential wave. While the accuracy of his predictions remains debatable, his life reveals a fascinating story of intellectual curiosity. His prophecies were written in quatrains, using symbolism and obscure language, making them difficult to decipher. Nostradamus initially included prophetic verses in his annual almanacs before compiling them into a more extensive work, Les Prophéties. Even centuries after the publication of his book, Nostradamus continues to be a source of fascination and debate. While some believe his prophecies hold uncanny accuracy, others argue their cleverly veiled generalities. The major criticism about the prophecies is that they lack specifics. His use of metaphors and symbolic language allows interpretations to be fitted to almost any event after the fact. This retroactive fitting can create the illusion of prediction. People may unconsciously find connections between Nostradamus's writings and historical events simply because he covered many general events. Despite these criticisms, Nostradamus's popularity remains undeniable. His prophecies are documented throughout history and continue to capture the public imagination. Nostradamus's prophecies extended beyond individual predictions. He envisioned a grand work titled Centuries, a ten-volume collection containing 1,000 prophecies spanning the next 2,000 years. Sadly, only the first volume was completed and published in his lifetime. 
Nostradamus wasn't just an astrologer. He initially worked as a physician without a formal medical degree. Nostradamus's writings gained him notoriety during his lifetime. Queen Catherine de' Medici of France even consulted him. The next revelation from his prophecies for the current year will shock you. One particular prediction regarding 2024 has garnered much attention. Nostradamus predicted a colossal earthquake that will strike Japan's coast and trigger a destructive tsunami. This prophecy, however, is shrouded in ambiguity. Nostradamus's writings are famously cryptic, filled with symbolism and open to interpretation. Some see his verses as foretelling a natural disaster, while others dismiss them as poetic license. The possibility of a 2024 earthquake in Japan is still debatable. While Japan is earthquake-prone, predicting specific events remains a scientific challenge. The reasons behind Nostradamus's incomplete magnum opus, Les Prophecies, or simply The Prophecies, remain mysterious. Some have speculated that his demanding career as a physician during tumultuous social and political times may have taken most of his time. Additionally, religious authorities criticized his work, deeming it sinful and outside the bounds of accepted beliefs. Despite being unfinished, the first volume of Les Prophecies propelled Nostradamus to fame during his lifetime. The enigmatic verses captivated the public, who eagerly attempted to decipher their hidden meanings and connections to historical events. The true significance of Nostradamus's unfinished work lies in its enduring fascination. Even though the complete vision of Les Siècles, the centuries, never materialized, his prophecies have continued influencing popular culture for centuries. Scholars, enthusiasts, and casual observers alike have tirelessly attempted to unlock the secrets within his cryptic verses, forging connections to contemporary events. Plague Doctor Although Nostradamus began his career as a physician, he gained notoriety for his prophetic pronouncements. Unlike many doctors who relied on dubious methods like mercury potions and bloodletting, Nostradamus championed progressive approaches to fighting the plague. He prioritized cleanliness, fresh air, and proper corpse disposal, setting him apart from his contemporaries. His signature rose pill might not have been a cure-all. Still, its core ingredient, rose hips, provided a valuable dose of immune-boosting vitamin C. While the actual effectiveness of his treatments remains debated, Nostradamus's focus on hygiene undoubtedly played a significant role in his success. The bubonic plague ravaged Europe during his youth, sparking his interest in medicine and astrology. His diverse studies included mathematics, astronomy, and even Hebrew. This breadth of knowledge fueled his fascination with predicting the future. Nostradamus's relationship with the Catholic Church was controversial, and his membership indeed contradicted his prophecies at some point. His writings sometimes strayed from church doctrine, leading to accusations of heresy. Now, we can reveal some of the shocking predictions of Nostradamus that have come to pass over the years. Predictions so far. Some believe that Nostradamus predicted the Great Fire of London in 1666. Quatrain 51 from the 2nd century reads, The innocent will be blamed in London, consumed by flames in the year 66. The venerable city will crumble, and many of the same faith will perish. Interpreters see the innocent as the numerous fire victims. London burnt by flames in the year 66 inches as an apparent reference to the Great Fire and the venerable city as symbolic of London, often personified as a woman. Many of the same faith is thought to allude to the religious tensions that arose after the fire. However, it's crucial to remember that interpretations of Nostradamus's work are highly debatable. Many scholars and skeptics argue his quatrains are often ambiguous and can be retroactively applied to fit historical events rather than indeed predicting them. The Great Fire of London raged for four days, September 2nd to 5th, 1666. It destroyed over 13,000 homes and businesses, displacing an estimated 70,000 to 80,000 residents. Although official records only list eight deaths, historians believe the actual number could be much higher with many victims perishing unidentified in the inferno. Ironically, the fire ultimately proved beneficial for London. It cleared out densely packed, timber-framed buildings, paving the way for a more fire-resistant city built with brick and stone. The monument commemorating the Great Fire, simply called The Monument, stands 202 feet tall, 
the same distance from the bakery on Pudding Lane where the fire originated. While the link between Nostradamus's prophecy and the Great Fire of London is intriguing, a healthy dose of skepticism is warranted. That is not all. Some find a more compelling connection between his writings and the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II. Nostradamus wrote of plagues never before seen, a description that certainly resonates with the horrific effects of atomic weapons. Those who survived the initial blasts endured agonizing radiation poisoning, with many succumbing later. The stone in the tree from Nostradamus's quatrain could be interpreted as the mushroom cloud that dominated the sky, or perhaps a paradoxical image of a bomb, a stone, appearing in an unnatural place, like a tree or the sky. The quatrain takes a more disturbing turn, foretelling famine and pestilence, which could be seen as references to radiation sickness and the long-term devastation of war. The mention of steel birds by some interpreters might allude to the airplanes that delivered the atomic bombs. The nuclear bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki were unlike any weapon ever used before. They unleashed a devastating combination of heat, blast, and radiation, causing immediate death and long-term health problems for survivors. The estimated death toll from the bombings is around 210,000, with many succumbing to radiation sickness in the months and years following the blasts. The use of atomic weapons remains a controversial topic. While some argue it was necessary to end World War II quickly and save countless lives, others condemn the immense human cost and the lasting environmental damage. Now, let's shift gears and focus on Nostradamus's prophecies for 2024. Be prepared because some find them quite unsettling. The first prediction centers on climate change. Nostradamus warned of the dry earth growing more parched and there will be great floods. This aligns with the genuine concerns of climate scientists about intensifying droughts and floods due to global warming. However, it is essential to note that when looking back at historical events, it's easy to find connections in Nostradamus's quatrains that may not have been apparent beforehand. The ambiguity of his wording allows interpretations to be stretched to fit various situations. Nostradamus suggested a parched earth. This likely reflects the concern of increasing aridity in many regions due to rising temperatures and shifting weather patterns. This phenomenon, desertification, is already displacing populations and impacting food security in some areas. Similarly, he predicted great floods. This aligns with the observed rise in extreme weather events like hurricanes, typhoons, and heavy rainfall. These events, which have been intensified by global warming, lead to devastating floods that displace communities and cause widespread damage. In today's world, where the effects of climate change are becoming undeniable, this prophecy could be interpreted as a real warning. It shows the urgent need to address environmental issues and significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Here are some interesting facts to consider. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, the leading international body for the assessment of climate change, has concluded with high confidence that human activities are the leading cause of observed warming since the mid-20th century. The IPCC also warns that without substantial reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, global temperatures could rise by several degrees Celsius by the end of this century, with potentially catastrophic consequences. While Nostradamus's predictions may be open to interpretation, the science of climate change is precise. Global warming is a natural and pressing issue demanding immediate action. By transitioning to renewable energy sources, adopting sustainable practices and holding our leaders accountable, we can work towards mitigating climate change and building a more resilient future for ourselves and generations to come. The following prediction is even more interesting because of its geopolitical implications. Other Prophecies Nostradamus's prophecy takes a more frightening turn. He suggested a decline in religious institutions. He said, no abbots, monks, no novices to learn, potentially due to financial hardship. The lines, honey costs far more than candle wax, and the price of wheat that man stirred his fellow man to eat, could foreshadow economic struggles, with essential goods becoming more expensive. This financial hardship could lead to social unrest, tearing apart the country. People might be forced to abandon their current lives and migrate to other regions with more water. 
a consequence of the previously mentioned dry earth prophecy. The text emphasizes the importance of preparation for these potential difficulties. The prophecy warns of conflicts between states as they fight over water. This aligns with concerns raised by experts about water scarcity becoming a significant source of tension in the future, especially in regions already facing water stress. Shifting our focus now, one of the most prominent issues in climate change, water scarcity. Over the years, many countries, they've witnessed a series of droughts. The international prophecies we are about to reveal now are genuinely shocking. Nostradamus prophesied about Vladimir Putin's health. He predicts health issues and a turbulent year for the Russian leader. It is important to remember, however, that Nostradamus's pronouncements are often cryptic and lack specifics about the nature, timing, or severity of these health problems. The prophecy also suggests that Putin might face a challenge from within. Nostradamus describes a diabolical successor, born under the same Chinese zodiac sign, possibly implying someone close to Putin who exploits his health issues. This close confidant might attempt a power grab, leading to domestic and international instability. Nostradamus warns of a change in the world economy with a shift in wealth and power. This could lead to doubt in leaders and a search for stability and direction in currencies. This prediction resonates with ongoing discussions about the rise of new economic powers and the potential for a multipolar world order. Interestingly, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, predicts that emerging economies like China and India will continue to grow in prominence, potentially challenging the dominance of traditional economic powerhouses like the United States and Europe. This shift in economic power dynamics could lead to a more complex and interconnected global financial system requiring new forms of cooperation and leadership. An intriguing prophecy for 2024 suggests that India will emerge as a key player in reshaping the global geopolitical and financial landscape. This aligns with India's undeniable rise as an economic powerhouse. India boasts a large and diverse economy, a rapidly growing population, and increasing strategic importance on the world stage. These factors position it well to become a significant player in shaping global economic trends and policies. Several factors contribute to India's potential to reshape the international landscape. 2024. India's young and dynamic population presents a significant opportunity for financial growth and innovation. Ongoing economic reforms, infrastructure development, and an emphasis on digital technologies position India as a critical player in the global economy. Extraterrestrial life. The most captivating prediction Nostradamus supposedly made concerns the existence of extraterrestrial life. Some have interpreted his quatrains and writings as hinting at contact with aliens. It is important to remember that there's currently no scientific evidence to confirm the existence of extraterrestrial life. However, the search for life beyond Earth remains an active and exciting field of scientific inquiry. Many ongoing projects, including powerful telescopes and sophisticated space probes, are dedicated to this endeavor. What's more intriguing is the fact that someone spoke of alien civilization centuries ago. Some interpreters believe that Nostradamus' references to beings from the sky and strange crafts could indicate encounters with extraterrestrial life forms. These interpretations have fueled debate among those who study Nostradamus and the ongoing search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI. One of the most frequently cited passages associated with extraterrestrial life in Nostradamus's prophecies is Century 2, Quatrain 30. It reads, When the great pontiff changes his abode, and the entire world is in commotion far away, far away from Rome, people of all ranks will be against him. While this quatrain doesn't explicitly mention extraterrestrial life, some believers in Nostradamus interpret the references to a great pontiff, and people being far away from Rome as symbolic descriptions of an otherworldly encounter or cosmic event. Powerful telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are designed to detect faint signals from distant exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, that might harbor life. Sophisticated space probes like the Perseverance rover on Mars search for signs of past or present microbial life on the Red Planet. 
Advanced radio telescopes like the Allen Telescope Array ATA, scan the cosmos for potential signals from extraterrestrial civilizations. Next, we shall reveal two chilling quotes by Nostradamus related to 2024 that have sparked considerable interest and speculation. The first quote describes a naval year in 2024, with red adversaries growing pale with fear and instilling dread in the great ocean. Some interpret this as a potential military conflict, perhaps an attack on Taiwan by China. China's red flag and rising regional tensions fuel this speculation. This prediction raises concerns about possible military confrontations and their impact on global stability. The second quote mentions the King of the Isles not remaining in power for long and a new king being anointed. Many interpret the King of the Isles as a reference to King Charles III. Consequently, there's anticipation of potential challenges for Charles due to his relationship with Camilla, stemming from the controversy surrounding Princess Diana. Nostradamus's quote about the King of the Isles suggests that Charles III might face challenges during his reign. The mention of a new king fostering global peace raises questions about future monarchs' potential actions and leadership styles. Some see Nostradamus's supposed prediction of Queen Elizabeth II's death, if interpreted this way, as evidence of his prophecy's accuracy. However, it's important to remember that Nostradamus's writings are often vague and open to multiple interpretations. Nostradamus's writings hint at the possibility of Pope Francis being replaced. However, no specifics are provided regarding this potential succession's timing, circumstances, or implications. This adds another layer of intrigue to discussions about the future of leadership within the Catholic Church. The quote, through the death of a very old pontiff, a Roman of good age will be elected, could be interpreted as referring to the future election of a new pope after the passing of Pope Francis. The following line, of him it will be said that he weakens his see, but long will he sit in biting activity, is more ambiguous. Some interpretations suggest a long but potentially troubled reign for this new pope. The final line, a younger pope would take the possession, and there could be a potential reduction in power, is even more open to speculation. It could imply a future power struggle within the church, or a change in the role of the papacy. The possibility of a decline in the Catholic Church's power, as suggested by some interpretations of Nostradamus, has sparked curiosity. It draws parallels with St. Malachy's prophecy concerning the last pope. However, it's important to remember the criticisms surrounding both sets of prophecies. What is the fate of the remaining Nostradamus prophecies? Despite criticism, Nostradamus left behind a legacy that intrigues scholars and enthusiasts to date. He passed away in 1566, but his cryptic verses remain challenging to decipher. Interpreting Nostradamus's writings is difficult. His verses are open to various interpretations, leading to ongoing debates. Some scholars view him as a visionary, while others dismiss his predictions as mere speculation. The question of belief in Nostradamus's prophecies is ultimately a personal one. Some accept them as glimpses into the future, while others remain skeptical attributing similarities between his predictions and historical events to coincidence. Only time can reveal the truth behind Nostradamus's prophecies. Whether they come to pass in 2024 or the future remains uncertain. However, examining past events and comparing them to his predictions can offer a deeper understanding of Nostradamus and his work. Nostradamus's prophecies challenge us to decipher hidden meanings within his verses, seeking glimpses of the future through his cryptic words. He intertwined the deaths of notable figures with looming threats of natural and artificial disasters. These prophecies have captivated and startled people for centuries, sparking passionate discussions and a mix of hope and fear. However, it's important to distinguish between understanding Nostradamus's cultural and historical context and blindly accepting his pronouncements as fact. His writings are often vague and open to interpretation. The true essence of his mystical insights remains debatable. What do you think about Nostradamus's prophecies? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Thank you for joining us.